I had my first chili pepper when I was a kid. I grew up in Detroit in an immigrant neighborhood and everybody's house had different food. And one of my neighbors had chili peppers and I just fell in love with it. They fascinate me. They're the different shapes, the different colors, different aromas, different flavors. Uh, they're just so delicious. And when I moved out here, I had all this space and there was this homemade greenhouse here. So I started to grow more and more plants in there, way more than one person could grow. Friends started buying them from me and people suggested I sell them at farmer's market and it just kind of grew from there. Now, 20 years later, Susan, or the chili woman as she is known, grows over 2,000 varieties. Each year, she ships her hot peppers to botanical gardens, home growers, and specialty chefs around the world. It's not what they expect in the Midwest, especially if they think of the Midwest as being kind of bland. And, you know, I think it kind of blows people's mind that it's an Indian. <laughs> but Susan isn't just known for her green thumb. She's also recognized for her green approach. In 2013, she won the National People and Planet Award from Green America. It's always been my lifestyle. It used to be eccentric, and now it's like hip. And so when I started my business, I wanted to run it the way I had my lifestyle, to recycle everything we possibly could, to use local suppliers. Anything we can do like that, even if it's a small thing, we go ahead and do it. And from the small to large farm helpers, Susan is always looking for new additions to her sustainable approach. Even turning a tragedy, the destruction of the farm in a 2011 tornado, to a triumph. In our home life, we used very little energy. But in my business life, I used a lot. And that always bothered me. And so after I got hit by the tornado in 2011 and all this canopy opened up, I decided to put in solar panels to power the greenhouse. And actually, it powers everything related to my business. Each year, the greenhouses support over 30,000 hot pepper plants over the season. Some grown for consumers and some grown for seed. My main goal in starting my business was to try and preserve the biogenetic diversity of chili peppers, get away from the hybrids, GMO seed, and I really wanted to keep the seed viable and active. I do a lot of seed swapping with other growers, both commercial and home gardeners. You know, 20 years ago, they weren't being grown. You know, they were sitting in the USDA seed bank, kind of languishing. And Bloomington being the type of town it, it is, people would bring you peppers from their home country, or people who traveled to do research would bring peppers or seeds back and um, I just was blown away by how different they all were. So I kind of wanted to begin to have a repository for all those seeds um, to store them, but then also to keep all these rare varieties of chili peppers from dying out. As long as I've been doing it, I still get excited when the seeds first germinate. When that first seed pokes its head out of the dirt, you're like, yes! <laughs> it's like a little tiny bit of life just came up. So that, that that thrill never goes away. <laughs>